What's up guys, so uh, big news coming out of the Safa camp, Bafana Bafana have a new coach by the name of Hugo Brosh, I hope I'm saying it right, um, but I must say, look, it's not the name that was being spun about last week, it almost seemed as if like maybe Benny McCarthy was the official one that's going to go according to the media reports, but it doesn't look like it's him, it seems like there were barriers, um, apparently there were barriers that stopped that, there were also barriers as well that might have stopped Bitsum Sumani also becoming Bafana Bafana coach but now they've announced Hugo Brosh and uh, look the positive is is that it's someone who's won before he's won as a player he's won as a coach um, he's also coached on on the continental front he's also been able to win the AFCON with, uh, with Cameroon and if everyone can remember well back in 2016 in the in the qualifiers he was actually in our group with Cameroon and we drew twice with them that was the two games where in one of those games Trump kind of scored that brilliant long range goal so um, we, we drew twice with them so we've seen him before or we've gone up against him before but now he's within our corner now and uh, that's the positive thing is the fact that he's won his CV does speak a lot and it does speak volumes and I think tactically he is better than what Muli Fenzeki is I think he probably would have been able to get some points against Ghana and, and, and Sudan but now we move forward the most important thing for me is uh, Mushante actually mentioned that Hugo Brosh did state that he knows which errors where the errors are within the Bafana squad and where they need improvements and I only want to see improvements I want to see transition I want to see development I want to see the squad moving forward that's the most important thing they've given him a five-year contract and I'm thinking wow so he has to take us to a transitional phase we cannot have the same squad we cannot have the same squad and I think what Vili also mentioning as well that the fact that the qualifiers have been moved to September that gives him a huge plus in the sense that he does have time to sort of evaluate the squad and really also mentioning that he will also probably evaluate in the Olympic squad as well but the squad needs to change progress needs to happen and uh, it, it has happened and I think I think within this five-year period he has to move the squad forward that's the most important thing and qualify